and welcome back to Heiner Builds Your Ride. We've got a Ford Ranger here today and this is the same customer that we've had in for the caravan before. He was so happy about it that we actually did the whole wiring for the back of his car as well. But before I show you too much detail, let's roll the intro. We managed to put the majority of the components inside the cab all behind the seat. As you can see, we have got our Egan DC hub in here that connects all our equipment together. Then we've got the Red Arc BC-DC Core 25 in here for charging from the alternator and uh, through a solar panel on the roof. Over here, we have got our primary power distribution so you can see one cable coming in from the 100 amp hour Amtron lithium battery. This can supply 175 amps continuous, so you can run up to a 2000 watt inverter of this battery. And as you can see, main positive comes in here. One fuse for the DC hub, one fuse for the inverter that is mounted in the back, I'll show you later. We've also got our Victron smart shunt in here, so you can measure state of charge for the battery and display it on your smartphone through the Victron Connect app, which is quite handy because you can be driving along and you can actually see the state of your battery system. Uh, as you can see, everything mounted on custom-made plates that we've fapped up in the workshop here. You've also got a solar input for an external solar blanket on the side. We are actually working on making a kit that is prefabbed and can just be dropped in, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, let me show you the back. In here we've got uh, the Victron 1200 watt inverter and this customer preferred to have it connected through an RCD with the twin power point on the side here. So we made uh, some custom brackets to mount this. Uh, also, uh, as soon as you have a plug-in inverter, it usually means that the earth of the inverter is insulated usually double insulated from the rest. So you need a floating earth RCD, which we've installed here to protect our power outlets that are here. There's also another general purpose Anderson plug outlet where you can run another fridge off. We've also got a fridge connector there that was already installed. We've changed that to be powered off the DC hub. And then underneath here, we've got an ARB twin piston compressor with a tank. Let me show you some more detail on that. This is where the tank for the ARB twin piston compressor is mounted. The compressor itself is behind the drawers. We can't really get to that anymore at the moment. And then we've got the outlets in the back here. Let me show you. As you can see in here, we've got the ARB compressor outlet, the switch here to turn the compressor on and off. And you can turn the inverter on and off through this switch here. So as soon as you turn that on, the inverter turns on and it will put 240 volt to the plugs that we've got in the back here. And then of course, last but not least, we've also put a national lunar light on here that you can turn on in orange or you hold it for a little bit longer 
and you can have it working on white. On white. There you go. Put that back to orange. Most people use it in orange anyway. And that is it. Most of, most of the things were installed in this car already, except for a proper power system. So we've changed that around. The drawers were installed. Uh, we just put a really good backbone into the system. And now the setup that we've got in the vehicle, or the customer has got in the vehicle, plus the one that he's got in his uh, caravan. I think there's, there's no more wishes you can have. This is proper off-grid touring system, as good as it gets, really. I think the only thing that's left to do for us is to put our patch of approval on here. This one is now ready to drive anywhere. Thank you and see you for the next one.